Hey all you action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here and today is going to be a pretty quick video but I just wanted to give you a look at the new Spin Master the Flash movie Batwing for their 12 inch scale figures. So more specifically what I was curious about with this particular toy, even though it's technically made for 12 inch figures which you can see the 12 inch figure that is included with it. Um, what I really wanted to see is how well this works with 7 inch scale figures and wanted to know whether this would be a, kind of a, a, a cheaper alternative if you didn't want to buy like the McFarlane toy a 7 inch scale Batwing that is $250. Now this one which is a Target store exclusive costs $39.99 so again it is significantly cheaper than the McFarlane toy uh, uh, DC Multiverse version. So again, this is the 12 inch figure that's included. Um, you know, it's got basic articulation and everything, the Michael Keaton Batman, but that's not really uh, what we're here to look at. Okay, so for today's video, for the intents of today's video, I have here uh, the McFarland Toys 7-inch uh, scale uh, Justice League Flash figure, and then I have the NECA uh, uh, Michael Keaton Batman figure. So I don't have yet the McFarland Toys uh, Flash movie Michael Keaton Batman or Flash figures, so this is uh, what I'm going to be using for today's video. Now when I do get the McFarland Toy, I, I, do, I did go on and buy the McFarland Toy Batwing. So when I get that one, I will give you an actual comparison between these two. Obviously, I don't yet have that one in hand, so I can't really give you a comparison. But again, for today, I'm really just kind of interested to see whether this cheaper uh, uh, Spin Master Batwing it would make for a decent alternative if you didn't want to spend the, the higher price on the McFarlane one. Okay, so first of all, let's get the measurements of the Batwing itself, which uh, looks like measures roughly about 28 inches in width and then lengthwise it's roughly a little bit over 22 inches now the McFarlane one based on the measurements that they've given is 35 inches in width and 27 inches long so the McFarlane one definitely is a little bit bigger because, uh, again, uh, the width of the McFarlane one is said to be 35, while this one is 27, and the, the length of the, this one is 22, while the McFarlane one is, is said to be 27 inches. Now, I, I definitely don't think it's in perfect scale with a 7-inch figure. I haven't seen the movie yet, so I don't know how big it looks in the movie, but, but I feel like... You know, it's not perfect scale, but I'm not sure the McFarlane toy one is going to be perfect scale either. But with the Spin Master one, you know, I think it looks okay with the figures standing outside, but it's not perfect. Now this, uh, the construction of this is just a uh, hollow plastic, which, you know, for the price, I don't think you really expect much. Um, you've got just like the little uh, engine uh, vents there on the bottom sculpted uh, you do have working landing gear which you can you know uh, push in if you want but that's really it as far as any kind of features and again uh, not a whole lot of uh, detail on the underside and just a uh, hollow plastic essentially is how this thing is made now again I'm not sure the McFarlane one is going to be too much different in regards to that but uh, until I have that one in hand, it's really hard to say. Okay, now uh, probably the biggest difference between this one and the McFarlane toy one is going to be the inside uh, canopy, which just pops off on this one, so I'm just going to set that aside. But you can see here that basically there is really no details inside the, the cockpit of, of this particular toy. There's like uh, this little thing here, which I guess is supposed to be little pedals or just some place to put the feet. But uh, basically, there's not even like seats in this one. And, and the way they work it is uh, essentially they just have you, uh, for your 12-inch figure, they just have you uh, lie him inside there. And then you just put the canopy on, uh, close it down on top of him. So no real detail inside the canopy. As far as 7-inch figures go, um, 
it, you can make it work, and you can actually put two 7-inch scale figures in here if you want to. Um, however, the thing to note here is, so you have, again, there's no seats in here, so you just have to kind of sit your figures in there. But the way the canopy is, you actually have to kind of push these guys down. Uh, the figure in the back really almost has to lay down uh, for you to be able to get the canopy to close because you don't have a whole lot of uh, uh, space between the canopy and the figure so you have to kind of position the figure so again they're kind of leaning back especially Batman with his ears but you can actually get the two figures in there if you want to okay so you know overall I gotta say for a cheaper alternative keeping in mind you know the word cheaper uh, I don't think this is too bad it's not perfect uh, you definitely have more detail in the cockpit of the McFarlane toy one. We can see that from the images that they released. But as far as the outside of the vehicle, I, I don't see a whole lot in the way of more detail on the McFarlane one than I do with this one. As far as the actual construction goes, it's really hard to say. But again, I would not be too surprised if it isn't basically just hollow plastic, kind of like this one. Now with this one, you can actually sit two figures inside there, two seven inch scale figures inside there if you want, and you can make it work. Whereas the McFarlane one only holds one figure. It does have an actual seat for the figure. So, you know, that's really, you know, it's gonna be up to you on how important that is. You can't see the figures that great. The, the, the canopy is kind of tinted so it's not like the figures are clearly displayed when they're sitting inside anyway okay so that's my review um, and you know I'd love to hear your own thoughts down in the comment section below do you think this is something that you might want to get as opposed to the more expensive McFarlane one again let me know in the comment section below this one the Spin Master one is available now it's it's available on Target's website I believe it's only going to be sold online um, again it is a Target store exclusive but it is shipping the McFarlane one which is a McFarlane store exclusive is listed with a May release date so you've got to wait a little bit longer on that one but um, again you know definitely if you're looking for cheaper alternatives this one might be uh, definitely viable for you hey thanks for watching today's video and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that bell notification to alert it every time i upload a new video and be sure to head over to the toy news international and marvelous news message sports communities it's a great place to talk toys and win cool contests like hundred dollar store credits to big bad toy stores and remember action figures are great